Hi there, my name is Stephanie and welcome to my channel. This is where I share the quantum version of reality. I focus on consciousness, childhood trauma, and the world of narcissists and empaths. In this video, I am going to be focusing on the battle for the minds of the masses. I like to get to the root of everything. Um, and this video is going to focus on the root of what we are seeing going on outside of us, along with the solutions. Everything is about consciousness, your consciousness. So quantum reality, what do I mean by quantum reality? It is the truth of who you are, what you are capable of, and how you interact with the world around you at the very smallest measurement of this reality. E equals M seed squared. Everything is energy vibrating at different frequencies. Matter, in the strictest construct of the word, does not exist. In fact, if I was to take all the energy out of your body, what would remain would fit on the tip of a ballpoint pen. No human exempt. Quantum reality also says that humans create their reality. If you want to look further into this, I suggest you watch a video on YouTube by Dr. Quantum. Just search for Dr. Quantum uh, Double Slit Experiment. It's a cartoon and it simplifies the double slit experiment. Um, that shows that the observer collapses the waveform and you are the observer. What you think and what you feel creates what you see in your outer reality. Everything is connected. We are all connected by a field of energy. I like to explain it as just like the trillions of cells in your body, all connected by the same blood, we are the 7.9 billion cells in the body of consciousness. Every single one of us contributes a frequency that determines the health of humanity in this body of consciousness. Now, the problem was, was that narcissistic psychopaths hijacked our minds to create what they want to see to dominate humanity and eventually disconnect us all from consciousness and connect us to a computer so what we are seeing now is the battle for the minds of the masses and if you want to change what you see in your outside reality, you first have to change your thoughts that create your emotions, your energy in motion. It is what determines everything. Your number one priority needs to be your vibrational frequency. I'll get a little bit into that in a second, but first let's start with how your mind works because I can promise you that the programmers of the programmed version of reality know exactly who you are and how you operate and what you are capable of. Now imagine if every human knew who they are and what they are capable of. We would see a completely different reality. Now, let's go back to how you, your mind works. For 90% of the population, they are living from their subconscious mind. That is the busy mind, the busy voice in your head that won't stop talking. Now, your subconscious program cannot think new thoughts. When you are living by your subconscious program, you are on autopilot. You are only reiterating what you have been programmed to think. The purpose is, is to become conscious of your subconscious mind 
and delete the programming that no longer serves you. Anything that says that you are anything but a masterpiece capable of creating whatever it is that you feel passionately about is false, which is why it doesn't feel good. Your emotions are like your guidance system um, and tuning into them and deliberately communicating with them is going to help you to see the video game reality that you live in. Now, if you look at the programmed version of reality, they keep you down here below 200. This is what I call below the veil of consciousness. This is where you can't figure out who you are. This is when you are furthest away from your truth, which is why it doesn't feel good. Now, statistically speaking, prior to March 2020, a minimum of 70% of our thoughts on average are negative. It is why depression is the leading cause of disability. We have been programmed to live in the lower states of consciousness. However, you can become the master of your mind and choose your focus deliberately. You know, you can tune into the frequency of, uh, of whatever it is that you're tuning into, you know, and let, let that guide you. Now, the programmed version of reality, um, they are everywhere. Everywhere you look, you see the programmed version of reality. Because again, the battle is for your mind. They do not want you living in higher states of consciousness, especially now. Because what happens when you live in higher states of consciousness? You change the entire field. Little old you, living in a state of love counterbalances 750,000 who are living down below the veil of consciousness. Again, think video game reality, and these are the different levels that we can live in. Now, up until the 80s, humanity did not move past 200. In the 80s was the most significant thing that could have happened to humanity. Of course, we didn't hear about it because the program version of reality has been deleting consciousness throughout the lifetimes, uh, slowly disconnecting the truth of who we are and the world around us and the fact that we live in a field of energy, free energy, that we can harness at any time. This is uh, the level of manipulation. In fact, the level of deception is, is really unfathomable. You know, the human mind, the things that these psychopaths do, the human mind, it's, we don't, we don't go down that far, but this is the game of energy and it's how they manipulate humanity to basically hand over their consciousness. Now consciousness is all that is, all that ever has been, all that ever will be. You tune into consciousness by living in higher frequencies, basically by feeling good. Do what feels good and you will start to see the video game reality. But you have to learn to control your mind. You have to learn to turn off the busy programmed mind and tune into the now. The now is the only place your power is, right? If your mind is thinking in the past, chances are, you're depressed if your mind is thinking in the future chances are you're feeling anxiety in the present moment is where your power always is which is why when you're anywhere else but present you are giving your power away the name of the game is to live in the moment in your conscious mind deliberately feeling your energy and I mean, if you're going to be a warrior in this game, you're going to use your intention to send that energy throughout all of humanity, all of consciousness. But we'll keep it simple for now. Let's talk about your frequency because it determines your reality. So to summarize, humans create their reality with their thoughts and emotions. Everything is energy. Your emotions are your energy in motion. 
So in order to use your energy to create deliberately, you have to mindfully focus your mind to create that frequency. I think that makes sense. The program stepped in in order to manipulate your frequency for you, right? When you are watching them, you will be living below the veil of consciousness, giving away your power. This is about taking back your mind and focusing it deliberately. If it doesn't feel good, it's out of alignment with the truth of who you really are. How you tune into who you really are is tuning into the frequency of love. Now, why does this matter? Like I said, we are all connected. We are all cells in the body of consciousness. When there are parasites in your body, you want to increase your immune system to a frequency where these parasites can't exist. So those who see the parasites in this reality, by increasing your frequency, it's like, think about like the immune system just spreading the frequency throughout the body, right? When you become conscious of who you are and deliberately feel your energy, add intention to direct that energy, you change the ent entire quantum field and all of consciousness. This is how powerful you are. This is why they had to brainwash humanity in order to take power over us. However, remember that shift happened in the 80s. And when there is a shift in energy, that energy moves through the morphic field resonance, touching every consciousness being in it. So long story short, when you love yourself, when you learn to love yourself, it changes the world around you. The only way you're going to know this is to try it yourself. You know, don't take anybody's opinion for anything. This is about you tuning into consciousness and realizing who you really are. The most powerful beings on this planet are the ones who wake up in the video, video game, in the dream, and realize what's going down, and then the warrior doesn't allow others to influence their frequency for them. So be mindful of those around you who have you feeling these frequencies. I describe there being two main players in this video game. We have the empaths and the narcissists. Both became who they are as a result of childhood trauma. One disconnected from love as a form of survival, it was too painful. The other became love and decided to keep everyone around them happy so that they can survive. So the narcissists are here to keep the empaths vibrating below the frequency of or below the um, veil of consciousness. Right again, think video game. Step out of human perspective. This is what you're going to, um, this is what will help you to become resilient through what we are going to be seeing going down. Um, mindfulness will uh, cre create resiliency. Um, and I'll get into that, the solutions, in a couple minutes here. Um, just be mindful of the narcissists. They are everywhere, and the programmed version of reality does not teach you about the narcissists, because if they did, you would see them, right? Video game reality. Now, here's the thing about the narcissists. They are everywhere. They are in your family. They are, let me just say, they were intentionally created by the program. You know, no human is born, um, you know, hating other humans. Uh, they are created. Okay, so there are many kinds of nar narcissists. Um, they come in different degrees, of course, just like the empaths. And there are the covert narcissists. They are the ones who pretend that they live up here, when in reality, they just want your energy. They are very deceiving. I call them monsters in meat suits. And I have had my fair share 
and I can tell you that there are ones who look like angels. It's like they, you know, it, they look like angels. They look like they're here to change everything. And in reality, they are the most repulsive beings on this planet. They are the energy suckers. Now remember, this is a game of energy. The narcissists do not care whether you are giving them love or hate, as long as you are focused on them and they are manipulating your energy, okay? The narcissists see the empaths. The key now is for the empaths to see the narcissists. There's a term that uh, it's called when an empath goes supernova and it's like this sudden awakening and all of a sudden you see the narcissist, you can feel them. By the way, every human has the ability to feel the different levels of consciousness that other beings operate at, but you have to tune in and turn off the subconscious mind. You have to tune in to your energy and feel it. Once you start doing this, it's like your intuition. Once you start listening to your intuition, you see that it's always right. And so you follow it more, you tune into it more, you let it guide you. I describe, um, I describe it as like plugging yourself back into consciousness, you know, living in these higher states. Everything can change in an instant. I can promise you that everything can change in an instant. And as long as you're on this path, which if you're listening to this, you are, um, you will start to see, you will start to comprehend who you really are and how powerful your thoughts and emotions are, that you will stop giving your energy away to those who vibrate at these frequencies, right? They're, they're, you just rise above, you rise above, right? You see them, you leave them. Now, why is all of this important? Scientifically speaking, the answer is consciousness. If they don't speak about consciousness, they are not speaking solutions. We are living in the body of consciousness. Every single cell matters, and especially the ones who have the ability to feel the frequency of love. You are the modern day warrior. Now it's time to tune into that energy and focus it deliberately to create the reality that you do want to see. Now the HeartMath Institute teaches what's called brain and heart coherence, and I'll get to that in the next slide. An offshoot of the HeartMath Institute is the Global Coherence Initiative. There is um, science on their website that you can find um, that will describe exactly what I'm saying. When there are many humans feeling the same emotions at the same time, we have the potential to change everything. There are some that believe that we can change all of this in a day. If you want to comprehend this reality, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. What is consciousness? Energy, frequency, and vibration. How do we win this battle? We advance to higher levels, higher states of consciousness where the parasites cannot exist. Once you start living in these higher states, and this is the thing, somebody who's living in a, in a state of heart brain coherence, not only are you influencing your own reality, but you have the ability to shift others around you into a state of coherence. This is how we help to wake the others up. Again, the Lebanon Peace Project, it was a, an experiment conducted in the 80s, and they tracked the times when people were sending the frequency of love and peace to the war-torn country. They also tracked the overall state of society, crimes and whatnot. In lockstep, the health of the society increased as about a thousand humans at any given about a thousand humans were meditating okay so if you want to watch a really cool video John Haglin is a quantum physicist if you search in YouTube for John Haglin Lebanon Peace Project you will hear him say one of my favorite 
quotes, there is far more evidence that meditation can turn war off like a light switch than there is evidence that aspirin reduces headaches. It is a scientific fact that a thousand people can influence a million. So the question is, is what are you feeding the field? What are you contributing to the overall body of consciousness? Ideally, what we have is a bunch of empaths who have realized the game. Those who see the programmed version of reality and the psychopaths operating it, uh, if you are going to change it, you must change your energy. Human, you create it all. What you focus on most with an emotional charge is exactly what you're going to see. Once you start to master your mind, you are able to master your frequency. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. Mind your focus because these psychopaths are going to keep stepping up their temper tantrums, demanding that you give them your energy because they are quite aware of this shift in consciousness. And I have never seen so many humans waking up so quickly. This is literally the most exciting time to be here. Now, wake up during the game, right? You're going to wake up no matter what. Everybody will. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. You either wake up while you're still here and realize what's going on and play this video game intentionally, or you wait till your time is up. Then you get to come back and do it again. So let's look at how you do that. It's called heart brain coherence or brain and heart coherence. I will show you on a screen what this looks like. This is a biofeedback device that I use with my clients and it measures what's called your HRV, your heart rate variance. This is basically your thoughts and emotions on a screen. When you are in a state of coherence, the trillions of cells in your body become coherent. It has also been referred to as the ultimate physiological state that you can get into. Again, your thoughts and emotions not only are reflected in your quote unquote physical reality, but the trillions of cells in your body are also responding to that frequency and they resonate at the same frequency as your emotions. I'll get into that deeper in, in a different video. Um, so your HRV, the time in between heartbeats, it changes based on whether you are living in a state of love or living in a state of fear. Now, how do you change your state? You change your focus, you change your perspective. I highly suggest um, learning quantum reality simply because it's a lot easier to process what's going down outside of you when you step out of human perspective. When you step into human perspective, it's heartbreaking. When you step out of human perspective and recognize the fact that you are an infinite being living in an infinite field of potentiality and you take back your mind and create deliberately, your frequency then helps to wake the others up. Living in a state of coherence. Let's, let's talk about this and get into it. I know that I always just sort of go through it. Oops, but let's, uh, let's get into the details here. I will walk you through getting yourself into a state of coherence. So just follow this breathing here. So breathe in and breathe out. You can feel within a couple cycles, you can feel your entire body shift. This is the first thing you want to do when you notice that you don't feel good, right? So if you're thinking about the past, you're most likely feeling depressed. If you're thinking about the future, you're most likely feeling anxiety. You're giving your power away. You get your power back when you bring your mind back to the present moment. So I always suggest 
you turn that busy mind off by giving it the job of counting. So all of this work is about mastering your mind instead of letting it master you. Again, statistically speaking, the majority of the population allows their subconscious program to run the show. They keep seeing and creating the same reality. Might be different faces, but same situation. Until you look and ask yourself, what must I believe to be true to be creating the reality that I am seeing? And dig deep for those beliefs that you have chances are not good enough, not worthy enough, not deserving enough, not whatever enough. And you look at who programmed you with that, you can delete that programming. I use what's called Psych K, um, energy psychology. Again, I'll get, maybe I'll get to that in a different video. The, the point is, is that again, think video game reality. You had an operating system that was downloaded um, chances are it's not serving you because we were all programmed by the, the psychopaths to um, be so f far away from the truth of who we are, right? To live in victim mentality, to believe that life happens to us instead of us creating it for us. So we need to change the thoughts in order to change the emotions in order to change the reality so you have to turn off the programmed version the programmed mind and tune back in to consciousness breathe in out and back in now i want you to focus on your heart or chest area where attention goes energy flows I want you to think of something or someone that you love and re-experience that emotion. Stress is your perception of something. You can change stress by changing your perception. Now, I'll go into this really quickly. Um, this dark blue represents your sympathetic nervous system. This is where you shift into when you are feeling stress. Stress is the cause of 90% of doctor visits. Again, stress is your thoughts, what you are thinking. When you are stressed out, your body is so magnificent that it says, okay, we got to shut everything off that is not required to fight or flight so your immune system shut off your cognition shut off your digestive shut off and your mind does not know the difference between real or perceived stress so as you watch the psychopaths chances are you are turning off your immune system making yourself sick this blue here is the parasympathetic nervous system. This is where you shift your autonomic nervous system shifts into when you are resting and digesting, sleeping or meditating. Um, this is where you repair and renew your body. Now the magic of heart brain coherence is it puts you in the middle of both of them. Perfect balance of both of them. This is literally your superpower. And I know it sounds really simplified, uh, but that's what this whole reality was supposed to be. It was the program that stepped in and made everything not make sense, right? It only makes sense if you don't think about it. Everything that's going on right now, it only makes sense if you don't think about it. So think about it. And then turn off the psychopaths that are keeping you living in the lower states of consciousness and again these narcissists are everywhere they are in your family they are at your job they are in the movement and you have the ability to tune in and figure out where these people are living from because the days of living in force are over we are now moving into power this is consciousness waking up. The humans are realizing who they are and they are starting to question everything. 
And the answers are really quite simple. Quantum reality really is quite simple. It's the word quantum that that stops people in their tracks. You know, I remember the first time I heard the word quantum, I was actually watching What the Bleep Do We Know? And I was in my early 20s. And I rem remember specifically thinking to myself, I am going to have to watch this at least 20 times to even begin to comprehend what they're saying. Fast forward to 2014, and I had a shift in consciousness. I describe it as being like immediately, instantly plugged back into the motherboard. And I remember um, thinking to myself, go back and watch that movie and see if it makes sense. Because it was like this profound shift in perspective and there was no going back. Absolutely no going back. Um, went back and watched the movie and I could not believe that I understood everything that they were saying. This is how profound consciousness is. Humans have the ability to tune into this quantum field and download whatever it is that you need to know to take you to where you want to go. So I'm not just saying, hey, be happy and feel love and peace and, and, and be ignorant as to what is going on. I'm saying live in these higher frequencies so you can tune back into consciousness, right? Intuition, previously unknown information, seemingly out of nowhere. This is you tuning your antennas into the quantum field, asking you will receive. You can download what you need to know instantly or within 72 hours. But give it that 72 hours. But the thing is, is you have to quiet the subconscious program or you can't hear the intuition that is sometimes screaming at you. Okay, so all in all, this is the battle for the minds of the masses. Humans are consciousness having a physical experience. We create our reality with what we believe to be true. Our beliefs were hijacked by narcissistic psychopaths. However, this video game is becoming very interesting because the shift in energy that started in the 80s cannot be stopped. You cannot stop this. All you can do is distract humans from it, right? Again, that's why it's, it's, they're getting so profoundly like obvious having their like, it's, it's ridiculous. It's so stupid. It's hard to watch, um, especially the puppets and the actors. And I think the hardest part is watching all of these humans go along with the agenda. However, I have my fingers crossed for a massive uh, increase in energy towards all of humanity. Could you imagine everybody waking up to this truth all at the same time, just like that? Now, if that was to happen, actually, you know what, I'm not even going to get into that. Um, I could talk about this stuff for hours, but I want to keep these videos relatively short. If you have any questions, please um, feel free to ask. If there's something you would like me to touch on, please send me a message. Um, it helps when um, I'm answering questions, otherwise I just can go on and on, which is why I'm doing these videos this way, to help me keep on track. You are an infinite being living in an infinite field of possibility. Your thoughts create it all. Be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of your emotions. They create everything. What you see outside of you is a reflection of where you are functioning from. If you want to change the reflection, you need to change the energy that you are feeding the field that is mirroring that energy. If there is something, a physical manifestation that is congested energy, if you want to comprehend this reality, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And I think that is all for now. Um, I am sending all of you so much love. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. The more you know, the more you grow.
Knowledge is power. Knowledge of self is self-empowerment. Do this work, you will see your reality change. There is no other way. Okay, be love everybody. Cheers. Until next time, my name is Stephanie and uh, this is the quantum version of this reality.